Okay, so today I'm going to be sharing how I dealt with my grandmom's death and uh, possibly try to summarize it as points. Number one, how I started off with it was when she was passing away, her breath went away gradually. When she, her last breaths were going on, I was there. But the moment she passed away and her lips started turning white and all of that was happening, I left and I did not see her with uh, all the white covering, uh, all the white sheets and the white uh, cotton buds in her nose because that is an image I cannot afford to remember. I know that I cannot take it. I cannot have that picture in my head. So tip number one would be take in only as much as you can bear. So don't avoid responsibilities like I used to go to see her. So don't be like, oh, I am not just not going to go to see her because I can't take it. Go see her, spend time with her or him. But uh, yeah, this is what I did. Once she passed away, I did not see her in that whole thing. I did not go down when she was hurt, like her body was taken away. Number two is do not stop any of your activities. Like I still remember the day she was admitted in the IC for the first time. I wanted, I really wanted to go to my driving class. It was just a one hour class. I also attended my classes at that time. And it was my family who stopped me because driving is a risky business. If my head would have gone towards her even for a moment, I could end up hurting someone. So that was the reason they didn't let me go. But then I wanted to go. So do not stop your daily activities unless you are really required at a place. And we had like 15 people at the hospital. Hence, I took the call of going. And if that is possible for you, do that. Do all your daily activities as you would have done. Number three is stay around your friends. Stay around those people who are not directly affected by this or as affected as you. Now, uh, Dadi is a part of our family. We are a family of eight. So I spent a lot of time with my friends and not my family. Uh, when I was upset because my family is in the same headspace. They're in the same emotional em emotional area. So um, if I'm sharing m how I feel about the situation with them, I might bring their spirits down again. That is why I was staying with my friends who were in a happier situation. So, you know, they their happier vibes could help and cheer me up and I, I was sharing with them so that it didn't affect them as much as it would to my family. So that was what I did and uh, after she passed away, I didn't keep, I, I still don't remember the exact date she passed away. Yes, tip number four would be not to remember any exact dates or time of moment because it just hurts that way that this was the time this she passed away or this was the date she passed away. It's her fourth death, fourth month death anniversary. No, I really don't know. Do not try to remember specific time and dates of these things. Just embrace them in your heart forever, not on particular dates and times. So yes, and uh, I don't know if you must have noticed, but I did not miss a single video throughout all of this happening like there has never never been a gap of more than one week between two of my videos i was very consistent so do not stop any of our activities when this is happening okay uh, I, I know i already said that but then this is how much i want to emphasize on this keep going just keep going yeah and uh, i really hope this these tips help you if you're going through something like this 